Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. So without wasting any time, let's move to the newspaper. First we will identify the important news and then we will move on to the analysis section. So this is Saturday, April 16, 2022, The Hindu, Delhi edition. Now we are going to first identify the most important news followed by a detailed analysis of the same, right? So let's start identifying the important news with respect to our examination. Okay. If harmed, India will not spare anyone, says Defence Minister. Okay. Nothing else here. These two news are irrelevant. Not ignore poor while seeking IMF assistance. Okay. Nothing new. What is this? The remains of how that resident were destroyed in Russia. Okay. HP announces shops ahead of assembly poll. Oh, no. Now Gujarat registers property of alleged writers. Okay. 30 term it anti encroachment drive. Congress says action on constitutional fine. So the Madhya Pradesh model is now being followed in Gujarat. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll just give it a brief read. Not necessary for examination, but still. Let's see what can be done. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is nothing else here. This one. Uh -huh. Okay, there is nothing else here as well. Okay, what is this? Hanuman Jayanti. Fine, fine, fine. Stairs at brand bankruptcy or redemption. Uh -huh. Food vaccine as right. More so for TV patients. Yes, we have to do this. India has a very high burden of TV. So we need to do this, right? To understand what is the various points relevant to TV. Contemporary relevance, right? Okay. Obviously a profitable winter in Kashmir, fine. Rain in communal, no, 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 no. India to get record number of doctors in next 10 years. Okay. Maybe this article has something, nothing it has. Group raise alarm over targeted attacks, no, no, no. Sarpan shot dead in JNK Baramulga, not required. Mm -hmm. There is, there is nothing. Okay, this was the news. If harm, India will not spare anyone, says Defense Minister. EDAR portal to speed up accident company. Okay, we have to see this new portal is there. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, India get S400 training equipment. Fine, fine. We have to just read it very briefly. Egypt is going to import wheat from India. We have to see it very, very briefly. Not, not a lot of things are there. Okay. Now, what is this warm vaccine? We have to see. This is a new concept. I am expecting a explainer page maybe on Monday or tomorrow itself, right? Okay. Yet to decide on going back single board examination. We'll see. Okay. What is this? Cyclopean wall, we have to see. Indigenization effort focuses on weapon and aviation item. Okay, we have to see this as well. There is nothing else here. Uh, we know that Nepal is also uh, running low on foreign exchange reserve. Just keep a note of it. We'll see how the news unfolds, right? Okay, uh, there don't seem to be many important news here. Okay, so this is a weekend sport page. Obviously, as usual, there won't be any more important news with respect to examination. Let's see. Still, we must see each and every news at least once, right? So, okay, we are at end, and obviously, we have identified the most important news and articles for today. So we now begin with the analysis section, right? So on this page, we didn't had uh, any important news, right? We'll move on to the next page to find that there wasn't any news relevant to our examination. And the same happens on the next page, followed by this advertisement. Okay, we'll be doing the editorial again as usual at last, right? And let's move to the news first and see 
what we need to analyze till here we don't have a news on this page i think there was a news yes there were two news i think two or three news on this page yes here four news on this page okay if harmed india will not spare anyone says defense minister fine as usual in strong message to china defense minister has said that if harmed india will not spare anyone okay his address to indian american community in san francisco all of those things mr singh when also sent sub subtle message to us that new delhi did not believe in a diplomacy of zero sum game and its relationship with one country could not be at expense of other okay now this is a good keyword this zero sum game okay so remember this keyword actually we know this keyword okay defense ministerial talks in 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue in washington dc there after he traveled to hawaii for meeting the us indo pacific command headquarter and then to san francisco okay we have a new confident bharat and all those things okay now you have to understand two three things the geography for india china is not an adversary that is likely to attack in near future why the geography determines this look if this is india right let me draw a rough image okay now we have this himalayas here okay and that that are no small mountain they are the largest mountain the the highest mountain system in the world okay and here you have china and here you have india so so this is a natural boundary natural boundary and natural boundary often prevents any kind of these things okay any kind of battles why because look to attack india look if this is tibet plateau okay this is your himadri this is your himachal this is your shivalik and then you go on to enter india right so this is tibet this is india and these are three mountain himadri or the high, the greater himalayas himachal or the lesser himalayas or shivalik or the outer himalayas right so china if we say that china is here so it has to cross this one then this one then this one to reach india okay this is the problem now china any army does not have so much fuel and food and so uh, and soldiers to cross things like this okay a lot of uh, expenditure is needed to cover up this natural boundary to a common attack india in its own territory india as usual won't be going from here to here to attack china that is not our policy we don't have we don't believe in this kind of adventurism right if china wants to do this kind of adventurism it will be short on fuel and food both as well as manpower and that's why hitting india on indian soil would be a nightmare nightmare for chinese it is same like look russia thought that it can capture ukraine although they are in the same plane okay the geography is not so difficult there for uh, russian war efforts on ukraine although it, if russia would have wanted to say attack any country say france then it would have been a problem right geographical problem but what happened that russia and ukraine share some common geography and so do common cultural links so it was very easy for them to attack one another right but in in case of india and china the himalayas uh, makes it sure, makes it very very clear that uh, the wars or something kind of that some kind of things kind of that is not going to take place in near future although both the country will share skirmishes and rhetoric among themselves but a full fledged or a full scale conventional war uh, it do not seem a possibility in near future yes but we are in a state of uh, fifth generation warfare where information is used as a warfare uh, mechanism yes we have it and china will use against us uh, these kind of weapons uh, related to information technology um, internet failures bugs and all those things in our system to to destroy our progress right so in that capacity india should work okay that in if in that capacity india is harmed india should be able to um, respond right and for that we need a very strong cdac okay cdac in india should be very very strong so that if anything related to um, your uh, internet or all those things comes uh, pops out india is able to answer that right so in this capacity we have to understand a full fledged conventional war does not seem a possibility although nothing can be said on human brain it can have a stone laid out in laid on it any time right so with this background let's move to the next news edar portal to speed up accident compensation claims it will be linked to other database for instant information right? fair enough web portal designed by government in consultation with insurance company to provide instant information on road accident with a few clicks and help accident uh, accelerate accident compensation claim bringing relief to victims family okay 
Ministry of Road and Transport, Road Transport and Highway has developed the portal EDAR, E Detailed Accident Report. Okay, so EDAR, Digitalized Detailed Accident Report. Okay, uh, will be uploaded on portal for easy access. Web portal will be linked to integrated road accident database from IDAR application to more than 90% of data set would be pushed directly to EDAR. Stakeholders like police, road authorities and hospitals etc. are required to enter, enter very minimal operational operation for these EDAR forms. Okay, So, it's a very good initiative and Apex Court has expressed satisfaction after technical demonstration and working of portal to the court and, and uh, amicus cure advocate. Okay, okay, these things are okay. Okay, linking would be there that is expected like Vahan app and it would get access to information of driving license, details of registration of vehicles and all those things. So, it's a good app. Why? Reduce the compensation time fine can be used as a database for uh, accidental insurances uh, for health insurance as well in future insurance where the patient can be saved in golden hours right on all those things this is a very good thing very good initiative it should be appreciated government has done a uh, commendable job here right this was expected out of government and government has been had standard upon the expectations okay india gets s400 training equipment second regiment from russia likely to see some delay due to ukraine war expected so we have got our s400 training equipment second delay would be there in s4 due to ongoing the ongoing war in ukraine however some training equipment simulator arrived in india official sources confirm simulator and training equipments have arrived the second operational unit is likely to be delayed by few months Okay, the last December India took delivery of first S-400 and where it is kept, it is kept in Punjab, the western border, right? Okay, the first unit has been deployed in Punjab and its operational officer have confirmed, okay? The threat of US uh, sanctions on the cards are New Delhi and Moscow has worked out payment through rupee ruble exchange for this deal. So, for this deal, there is a rupee ruble exchange, okay? Okay. The defense ministry and services have carried out assessment and are closely monitoring the impact of sanctions and have opened on timely delivery so all those things are there this you you must know this china too possesses s400 triumph long range air defense system currently being inducted by india fine so china also have that earlier india air force representative had told parliamentary standing committee on defense that direct tactical planning would be key requirement for india in countering chinese forces okay this was the news i think one or one and a half month ago right Okay, direct technical uh, tactical planning would be the key requirement for India in countering Chinese forces. Okay, what is the difference between strategic and tactical? Strategic is long term. Okay, tactical is short term. Okay, if you are getting a long term gain by doing something, and that too, especially in respect to security, then it is called strategic. And tactical means by using some tactics you get a upper hand in in some aspect of uh, the larger strategic planning then it is called tactical planning look here it he can uh, here the uh, committee cannot be said that cannot be informed that uh, direct strategic planning why because with missile system there cannot be a direct strategic planning there will always be a tactical planning okay and now let's see if anything else is okay egypt to import wheat from india one of the Egypt, one of the biggest importers of wheat, which has been importing food grains from Russia and Ukraine, has agreed to sell, score wheat from India. Okay, official from agriculture quarantine and pest risk analysis of Egypt visited various processing processing unit, port facilities, and farms in Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, and Punjab. And we have decided to export the best quality of wheat. Okay, so Egypt imports 6.1 million tons of wheat in. 2021 and India was not a part of that of a accredited country that could export wheat to Egypt. More than 80% is wheat imports estimate to be 2 billion 2021 were from Russia and Ukraine. So Russia and Ukraine which are far away from Egypt do supply them wheat but India which actually is very near to Egypt geographically is not supplying wheat and we produce wheat more than them. 
still we don't supply right so this is a kind of paradox mostly by demand from countries in india what demand from countries such as bangladesh uae qatar sri lanka oman and malaysia however india is also making effort to boost wheat export to other countries including yemen afghanistan and indonesia fine so this is done okay okay now i understand what is one vaccine that could be stored at room temperature this is my expectation let's see if it is correct or not a prospective vaccine against sars cov 2 being developed in india that doesn't need to be stored in refrigerator or cold chain storage and uh, generate a significant number of antibodies in mouse trial against prevalent variant of the virus according to a plan okay so i think i'm on the correct path that doesn't need to be stored in refrigerator or cold chain storage right the one vaccine developed by bengaluru based minvax private limited a company incubated at indian institute of science bengaluru is unique among the existing vaccine that can be stored at 37 degrees celsius for 4 weeks and at 100 degrees celsius up to 90 minutes so at 100 degrees celsius it can be stored up to 1.5 hours and for 37 degrees celsius up to 4 weeks most other vaccine requires to be stored in refrigerator and can be kept at room temperature for no more than few hours fine however the test of vaccine is whether it can elicit a sufficiently high antibody response out in immune system and whether vaccine was effective against alpha and delta and omicron variant is still needs testing existing vaccines have been de- de- developed on template of wuhan strain whereas the prevailing variant have significant structural difference okay joint studies were conducted by scientists okay mm-hmm. okay just know this only the results from observation made a attached to having vaccine been fit for proceed for human trials to years into pandemic close to and all those things are not very okay fine so just know this what is one vaccine vaccine that can be stored at room temperature and this new vaccine has the potential to be stored for about 1.5 hours at 100 degrees celsius and for about 4 weeks in or at 37 degrees celsius right so this is done let's see if anything else is remaining Bihar six UNESCO tag for cyclopean wall. Bihar government has sent a press proposal to ASI to get 40 km long cyclopean wall, a more than 25 year old structure at Rajgir listed into UNESCO World Heritage site. It was built before 3rd century BC to protect ancient city of Rajgir from invaders. So what is cyclopean wall? It is there in Rajgir. It was built in about 3rd century BC means in about time of Ashoka to pro- to protect the ancient city from invaders okay navy assures indigenization effort focus on weapon and aviation item yes we had a news related to this i think where uh, indigenization was also a focus of both airport and navy it was it was given and now navy assures its indigenization effort okay navy which has taken early lead towards indigenization decades ago and in 2014 promulgated india navy indigenization plan to enable indigenous development of equipment and system is further ramping up ingredient in indigenization effort especially in weapons and aviation related items so in which weapons and aviation related items this fall in line with government push to cut down defense uh, ex- imports and boost domestic manufacturing etc etc okay locally made item will be required focus area let's see working with drdo and industry to cut down development timelines officers at startup and msmes are doing a great job okay Uh, anti submarine weapons and sensors stat common electronic warfare equipment anti ship missiles medium range surface to air missile combat etc etc these things are there okay just know this that the navy has been the forerunner in this not very relevant from examination point of view but yes we should know it it is uh, remotely related to our security chapter right let's see if anything else is left okay uh, there was nothing on this page same okay so i think yes so we have actually covered all the discussion of very important news with respect to our examination and now let us move directly to uh, discussion of the editorial okay the fo- this, so this is our editorial the food vaccine as a right more so for tb patient so initially when i read this article in the beginning i thought food and vaccines are different thing but here i feel that it is talking about food as a vaccine okay so let's see yes it is correct addressing under nutrition okay so i am correct here i think so let's see what uh, we can infer from this article 
okay without addressing the under nutrition the goal of reducing incidence of tb and mortality in india cannot be reached right we have a 2030 tb agenda to eliminate it we'll see i think it would be there in this wonderful article in the past there was a belief that every ill had a pill and pill killed the germs that made you ill the germ could be bacteria virus or parasite factors such as genetic and metabolic causes hormonal imbalances and altered neurochemical transmitters causing illness were less known to them so what are the other cause of illness genetic and metabolic causes hormonal imbalances altered neurochemical transmitters causing illness okay but there were fairly good knowledge of how good air and nutrition reduce consumption illness such as tuberculosis history and a perspective this is why sanitoriums were set up in mountain terrain with fresh air pure water good food in the quest for cure of tb there was no drug for tb till discovery of strepto streptomycin in 1943 so for tb the, the first drug discovered was streptomycin with improved wages with better living standards and a combined higher purchasing power of food tb mortality rate come down from 300 people uh, per lakh population to 60 in england and wales the tb disappeared from socio economically developed countries long before the advent of chemotherapy after the second world war in 1946 gb later reported 92% reduction in incidence of tb among british soldiers who were fed an additional red cross diet of 1000 calories plus 30 g of proteins when compared to russian soldiers who were fed only a camp diet the historical importance of good nutrition was ignored by modern therapists who tried to control tb initially with streptomycin injection ionized isoneized and para arimo amino salicylic acid in the ecstasy of finding antibiotics killing the germ the social determinants were of disease were ignored so one thing we have to understand for any disease there are two types of determinant right determinant of disease what are the two type of determinant number one is your uh, um, biological and physiological and other is your social now both of them work in tandem both of them are complement to each other when the condition for uh, with respect to the condition for spreading or prolonging of that disease right to make that disease very uh Uh, very uh, live very long in our body or infect us for a long time that is to become let it become chronic okay uh, these two factors work in tandem okay not patient centric with more drug arsenal such as rifampicin ethambutol py- pyrazinamide to the fight against tb bacteria continued which become multi drug resistant okay so what happened tb bacteria has now become multi drug resistant mdr okay sharper bullets were fired into frail body of patient it was the bacteria's target not patient centric the regime and mode of delivery of drugs were changed to plug the loopholes of alleged non compliance of illiterate and irresponsible patients okay blister packs of multi drug regime were provided at door step and directly observed treatment therapy or mechanism setup there was little done to try to understand the patient uh, where patient lived what work they do for living and how much they could afford to buy food and other things right so what was being done the biological cause the pathogenic cause the uh, okay was being treated with various uh, medicines but the social causes like his living standard where does he live does he live by the uh, is sanitation followed in his uh, backyard and all those things were ignored so what happened we actually understood how tb works and how it uh, how it can be removed but we cannot remove it because we were lacking the social social thing okay the social dimension of that disease we were lacking so any time we have to write about disease we have to write it in two capacity the biological term capacity and the social capacity this is a very good point we got from it okay whenever we are talking about in our answers especially in paper 1 about any disease and its impact or its cause there could be two causes the biological causes that includes the pathogens the genetics and all those things and the social causes that includes living and livelihood sanitation water nutrition etc right many of the poor discontinued blister package free drug thinking that they were hot and strong drug not suited for hunger pains and they experience every night they 
cut up okay they cut up viral virulent bacteria from their emaciated body to infect many around them okay it is no wonder that tb was never brought under control so the author says that the poor and hungry people could not uh, didn't believe in the medicine being given to them why because they they understood that the medicine won't be useful uh, with re- respect to them why because they slept hungry they didn't had enough to eat so they usually slept hungry right and they used to cough a virus entire night which leads to what which leads to infection of the people nearby and so the author concludes here in this paragraph that yes in india tb was never under control let me narrate this example i was defending a project proposal to provide nutritional supplement of additional rice dal and cooking oil for tb patients in the tribal area of bastar chatisgarh as part of national rural health mission plan in 910 but it was re- rejected twice by the central technical team as an intervention without proven benefits okay till here it is clear so nutrition status and tb risk okay the nutrition of individual is most vital factor in prevention of tuberculosis disease actually nutrition is very vital in almost prevention of all the diseases right almost not every but almost all the diseases and especially uh, when we see this today lifestyle diseases this become even more important like you say diabetes hypertension and to some extent cancer as well the lifestyle and nutrition is one of the most basic thing that could be used as a first line of defense in fact the best line of defense against these things right okay um it is most unlikely that drugs alone or drugs supplemented with vaccination can control tb in underprivileged country of the world as long as the nutritional status has lo- not been raised to reasonable level right so it is a combination of both the nutritional factor or the social factor as well as the um, biological and medical and other factors that together will lead to healing up of the patients it is not only one of those factor that could do the task both are necessary and none of them are sufficient enough right they both have to work together to kick out the disease from the body of the patient right in fact 90% of indian exposed to tb remain dormant if their nutritional status and thereby the immune system is good okay so the data is what 90% of indians exposed to tb remain dormant means they do not uh, show symptom of tb neither anything else related with tb in what case in the cases if the nutritional status and thereby the immune system remains good when the infected person is immunocompromised tb as a disease manifests itself in 10% of the infected india has around 2.8 million active cases it is a disease of the poor right and the poor are the are three times less likely to go for treatment and four times less likely to complete the treatment for tb according to who so this is a very good data who that poors are three times less likely to go for treatment and four times less likely to complete their treatment for tb according to who right in 2022 scientists like virko before 1902 osler before 1919 and dubus before 1960 have been saying the same thing the work and findings of the team at jan swasth sahyog hospital Bilaspur in Chhattisgarh established the association of poor nutritional status with high risk of tb in period 2004 to 9 among 1695 pulmonary tb patients they treated men held average body weight of 42.1 kg and body mass index of 16 you understand men had average weight of just 42 kg and that to for tb related to lung pulmonary tb for women it was just 34 kg and bmi of just 15 they are undernourished in every case they are undernourished so low bmi and so low body weight with this level of undernourishment there was two fold two to four fold rise in mortality associated with tb right in 2014 a research showed that undernutrition in adult population was major driver of india tb epidemic so this is one of the cause for tb uh, for india being one of having one of the high, highest um, cases of or incidence of tb right subsequently the central tb division of ministry of health came up with guidance document nutritional care and support for patient with tuberculosis in india after national workshop held in february 2016 at yena poya medical college mangaluru karnataka the 2019 global tb report identified malnutrition as single most 
associated risk factor for the development okay so according to 2019 global tb report what is the single most associated risk factor of the development of tb it is malnutrition which accounted for more for more cases than four other risks that is smoking harmful use of alcohol diabetes and hiv right so look if the we talk about pulmonary tb what could be the things that could harm the lung system right it could be either smoking or harmful use of alcohols right or diabetes diabetes has the has the propensity or diabetes has the potential to damage any of the internal organ and that too silently right and hiv because hiv compromises the immunity of the body right and apart from that one of the most important factor or one of the single associated uh, factor is malnutrition because malnutrition also leads to immunocompromising okay and a improve, uh, immunocompromised person is susceptible to any disease be it tb be it anything therefore hiv is so dangerous and malnutrition also leads to the same thing okay beginning with gss the number of organization began providing egg milk powder dal bengal gram ground uh, nut and cooking oil to diagnose person along with anti tb drug chatisgarh also initiated the supply of ground nut moong dal soya oil and from april 2018 under nikshay portion yojana nikshay is related to tb anywhere you see nikshay in examination understand that it is related with tb right or of national health mission all state began extending the cash support of rupees 500 per month to tb patient to buy food this amount needs to be raised okay because considering today's inflation and only the cost of oil has gone about 200 rupees sometimes back right or maybe it may be prevalent now also okay so 200 rupees average we consider all over 150 say consider 150 for all we are you are left with just 350 rupees now if you do not belong to a to the category of antodaya and is uh, not covered in uh, that uh, scheme uh, what is national uh, what is the name of that scheme which provides 2 rupees for 2 rupees per kg rice and 2 3 rupees per kg wheat and all those things uh okay for that scheme if you are not there then 500 is a very meager amount and 350 to support yourself for entire month is is what i said is not enough without simulation simultaneous nutritional education okay so this is also important point nutritional education and counseling support for cash transfer will not have the desired outcome syndemics now this seems to be a very new word to me also let's let's understand it according to dr bhargav under nutrition and tb are syndemics okay they are synonymous to each other means synonymous pandemics okay this means what synonymous pan uh, epidemics not pandemics epidemics right and intake of adequate balanced food especially by the poor can work as a vaccine to prevent tb yes i was correct in the beginning that uh, food is uh, food can be seen as a vaccine okay to prevent tb this vaccine is polyvalent acting against many gastro intestinal and respiratory tract infection orally active and can be produced in the country with without patent right dispensed over counter without prescription and without any side effect safe for children pregnant and lactating women and of guaranteed compliance because it bring satisfaction and happiness oh my god what a what a satire it is yes but it is very true that this vaccine is obviously polyvalent it can act against many diseases including gastrointestinal diseases in the, uh, with respect to respiratory tract infection it is orally active means it can be taken uh, directly orally it don't have to be injected in the body can be produced in the country yes the farmers actually grows this so can be easily produced in the country and there could not be any patent right violation as well because growing wheat or growing rice or growing vegetables do not need do not uh, violate the patent rights of any other right dispensed over the counter it could be easily sold over the counter why because it do not need prescription it is not a scheduled as drug okay mm, it do not have side effect you cannot have side effect by eating the normal staple food of the country safe for children obviously it is safe for children then only they will grow and pe- pregnant and lactating women yes they need food pregnant and lactating m- women especially pre- uh, they need uh, iron rich food right so and all other vitamins and minerals also so that they can sustain Uh, the mm, the uh, they can have uh, proper vitamins and minerals and all other requirements for proper milk formation in them right and in pregnant women for their child as well they should have proper balanced diet right and of guaranteed compliance yes it would be guaranteed compliance and the people will be doing that why because it brings satisfaction and happiness and also removes the pain of the stomach okay <laughs> so the author has has written a very very dramatic kind of thing here it's good at least we understand what what these are the various characteristics of vaccine or any drug right and uh, pro- providing proper food um 
uh, is uh, able to what is able is, is uh, can stand on all these parameters the food vaccine is guaranteed for right is guaranteed for right to right under the constitution of india for all citizen more so tb patient thus goal of reducing incidence of tb in india and reducing tb mortality cannot be reached without addressing the nutritional aspect yes it is very 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 enriching article uh, make a note of it you will not regret about it right now let's see if anything else is remaining on this page as far as I remember, there won't be anything else remaining. Okay, and I was correct. Okay, so with this, we end today's newspaper analysis. You may find this take to the pursuit of two course simultaneously in physical mode is problematic. You may find this as a important article, but, but trust me, it won't be an important article. Why? Because whenever question comes, it would be related to the education sector, not this that uh, will the two course be problematic or not so this may, may at most become a point and that too it is a positive step so it should be written in the positive the prose part okay yes a challenge you can give that what about technical education technical education can't be given uh, without uh, uh, in a correspondent kind of thing or all those kind of thing you can argue here so it is a very it would be that of that relevance still if you want to read it you read it give me a feedback uh, if it is necessary i'll make a video over it right so with this, we end today's newspaper. I hope you really like it. Okay. So friends, I really hope that you like this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel and share this video with your friend. Also, keep studying hard, keep following your dreams and keep tuned to our channel. Comment below for any suggestion. Till then, goodbye, good luck, keep studying hard and follow your dreams.